Hello, my name is Vinyamin and today I will show you the demo of Hyper-V failover cluster support feature in Nakivo backup and replication. So let's start with the information part. What is Hyper-V failover cluster? Hyper-V failover cluster is a group of hosts that can run highly available VMs. The cluster consists of several Hyper-V hosts called cluster nodes. All of the nodes should be connected by network, they must run the same version of Hyper-V, essentially the Windows Server. Failover cluster role should be installed and available in the Windows Server of all cluster nodes. And the cluster shared volume should be available. It's essentially a shared storage, a volume that's shared across all nodes of the cluster. So if a Hyper-V VM is stored on a cluster shared volume, it can become a highly available VM, it can be configured to be a highly available VM, in other words, HAVM, and it can fail over between nodes of the cluster. So uh, whenever such VM runs, it has a current node which runs this VM, and then it can migrate or fail over between different nodes of the cluster. The use cases for failover clusters in Microsoft Hyper-V is first of all high availability of Hyper-V VMs. Whenever one of the nodes fails, the VMs from this node can fail over to the other nodes of the cluster, assuring that the VMs are highly available. It's done with minimum downtime, probably a couple of seconds. It also allows for manual VM failover and migration, as well as automatic failover. It increases your scalability because the VMs and new nodes can be added on the go and simplifies the load balancing. If you want to power down one of the nodes for maintenance, you can just migrate VMs to the other nodes and just do that. So Nakivo Backup and Replication can work with failover clusters. A cluster can be added to the inventory as a single item. You can migrate VMs and this migration is tracked across different nodes of the cluster. And of course, Backup and Replication jobs can protect the entire cluster. Let's now look at how Nakivo Backup and Replication works with Hyper-V clusters. I will add a new Hyper-V cluster here. You should select a cluster as a type for Hyper-V item. Let's give it a name. Failover cluster. So now the cluster is being added to the inventory, meaning that the product just pulls all the nodes of the cluster and of course the cluster API itself and discovers all VMs that run on these nodes. A VM can be either a normal VM that only runs on single host or a highly available VM that can migrate between nodes of the cluster and which is available in the failover cluster manager. Okay, so our cluster is added to the inventory. As you can see, it consists of two nodes, Hyper-V 05 and Hyper-V 08. Of course, not all VMs here are highly available VMs. Not all of them support clustering feature. And in the transporters tab, we can see that we have two transporters, one at each node of the cluster. So let's now go to jobs and create a backup job for one of our VMs which is a highly available VM, in fact. So this is LM Win G2 VM right here. You can also add another VM, which is just a simple Hyper-V VM. Both of them run on Hyper-V 08 node. The backup goes to the onboard repository. We have enough of free space here. The job runs on demand we keep some recovery points. Let's not use any of advanced options. So, 
our job is created and you can see both VMs run on Hyper-V 08 cluster node. Let's now switch to the Hyper-V cluster manager. So this is uh, our manager. As you can see it's cluster 2012, the same item. And here we can see the highly available VMs, HA VMs, and this WinG2 VM runs on Hyper-V 08 node. Let's now migrate it, let's do a live migration to the other node, which is Hyper-V 05. As you can see now the node for this cluster, uh, for this VM, is Hyper-V 05. That's the host that runs this VM. Let's switch back to Nakivo Backup Notification Console. Again, let's go to the Inventory tab. Our inventory is refreshed automatically within specified period of time. Now I will just force refresh the inventory. Force refresh my cluster. Okay, it was refreshed. And as you can see, LM WinG2 VM has moved to Hyper-V05 node under this cluster. So it will be reflected in the job as well. Like right here, the one VM is still on the old node, but the other VM is on Hyper-V05. So we can simply run this job and it will pick up the VMs in the new place. Okay, thank you for watching this video and please try Nakivo Backup and Replication if you haven't already.